How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a battle versus Milford Meanswell. If you want to battle me, join the Discord server in the description and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins as you can see we are in an underground volcano right now because why not? Why not? So they're going to lead off with their Rotom as we lead off with our Krikachune. So Krikachune's um, a, a funny one. <laughs> it's basically here to set up sticky waves and perish song things that try and set up on it um, pretty much. This thing's probably going to go for a Volt Switch so I'm just going to go straight for the sticky webs because why not? They go for a trick which is pretty interesting. Um, that's going to trick us a Choice Scarf, which we can probably use later, as they now have a Focus Sash. Uh, we're going to get our Sticky Webs up, which is always nice as well. Uh, this turn, they're definitely going to go for a Volt Switch, so I'm kind of hoping that we can block that with a Golem Switch. Or not. Um, I'm also thinking... Uh, I don't really know what to do here. Can we actually switch a Moose? Does it, does it count with the Sticky Web? No, it doesn't. Okay, so... Um, Krikachun, we'll probably save for later. Um, right now, I'm going to go straight to Golem. I'm going to go straight to Golem um, because I, I just... Why not? Why not, eh? Why not? So we're going to Golem real quick. There we go. Golem comes in. As uh, they go for a Volt Switch, that's obviously going to get blocked by us. So that's pretty awesome. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and expect them to go for a Leaf Storm. And I'm going to go into my... Oh, do I want to go into... I'm going to go back into Krikachune. Krikachune should be able to handle this now. And um, we can definitely take a Leaf Storm from this thing. No problems there. So we'll go to Krikachune real quick. De -le 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 whoop. They go for the Leaf Storm. That's going to be um, doing some decent damage to us. It does over half, which is pretty crazy, really, when you think about it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bug type, and it's that frail. It's so frail. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go straight for a Bug Bite because we are Choice Scarf. We should outspeed the uh, Rotom. There we go. Go for the Bug Bite. That is going to clean Lin KO it, which is crazy to me, as uh, they have got the Focus Sash, unfortunately, which is going to protect them as they go for a Volt Switch now, which is, of course, going to do a lot of damage to us, but doesn't quite take us out, so... Choice Scarf Krikachune, ladies and gentlemen. This has turned into a weird first couple of turns. <laughs> so if we get Stealth Rocks up, the Rotom is gone officially, which is great for us. They're going to bring in Cream, which is, of course, the Dusknaw. So Dusknaw is unfortunately going to get caught in the Sticky Webs for my opponent. Um, which is weird because you'd think this thing could get Levitate, considering it's literally levitating. Um, I mean, look at it. It is literally doing that right now. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to go into our... Tropius, I think Tropius is the best switch because we don't really care if we get burned and I'm fully expecting them to go for a Shadow Sneak or something as well to, just to get the KO on the um, does not. They actually go for a Trick Room, which is pretty interesting because they have a couple of Fast Mons on the team. They've got the Rotom, they've got the Latias, they've got the Tauros. So that's actually going to cripple them a little bit as well. So I'm going to go straight for a Leech Seed and we can Leech Seed anything on their team really. They actually have Ice Punch, which is going to do a lot of damage to Tropius and get the Froze. That is really unfortunate. However... We do have the Citrus Berry in check, which is really nice. She's going to recover a nice amount of health for us. And we are unfortunately still frozen solid, which is a real shame. We get the Harvest again, though, which means we get another Citrus Berry, which is perfect. And that's going to recover us right back up to near, nearly full, nearly full. Um, unfortunately, we don't want to take another Ice Punch with this um, Tropius. Um, I'm going to save the Tropius for later. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into... Uh, do I want to go into you? Ice Punch. Let's go into Vaporeon. Vaporeon seems like a solid one. So they're actually going to withdraw their Dusknaw, even though it could easily Ice Punch us. And they're going to go into Ursaring. Ursaring gets a free setup here, so that's kind of um, fair. That's a fair one. Ursaring is pretty terrifying to us as well. Uh, Vaporeon is physically defensive, so we should be able to take a hit from this thing. No problems there. Um, Ursaring is pretty fast as well, compared to Vaporeon anyway. Um, so we should be out speeding anyway. Ah, this sticky web is just kind of... Bone does, not it? So let's go for a Scold real quick just to get some damage off on the uh, Earthring. The Earthring is going to be a big threat to us. It's going to do a lot of damage with Fake Out, uh, for say, at Facade. As it nearly one-shots us. We are physically defensive and it nearly one-shots us. That is absolutely crazy. So Facade does come through and it's going to get a lot of damage off on us. I can't see where Vaporeon is going to be any use to us anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight for another Scold. And um, we'll just hope for the best. So Sticky Webs is really going to help my opponent's Trick Room team. To be honest with you. That's, that's not good. Not good at all. They are going to go for a Crunch, just in case we switch that, I guess, into the um, Golem. Makes sense, makes sense. As uh, this turn, what we're going to do is we're going to have to do something drastic. What can, what can we do to take out this Ursaring? So the Twisted Dimensions return to normal, which is actually really good. Really good for us. We could go Alakazam. 
finish this thing off with a psychic. I mean, Skull did a lot of damage. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my Alakazam. Alakazam can do a lot of damage to everything on their team, to be honest with you. So we'll go straight for the Psychic, and we should be able to grab the KO right now. They're actually going to withdraw the Earth Ring. What are they going to go into to take a Psychic at Latias? They're going to go into Rotom and sack it off. That makes sense. So they're going to sack off the Rotom right now. Um, that's absolutely fine by us, as the Rotom does go down, which is perfect. So what can they do now? They're going to have to bring in something that can revenge kill Alakazam. Um, they don't know whether they're, we're Focus Sash or not. We could be Focus Sash with Nasty Plot, but um, they don't know that. They don't know that yet. They're going to go into Cream, which is, of course, the Dust Lord. Now, I'm going to go ahead and expect them to set up a Trick Room um, before they do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do some um, damage to this thing first. So I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they're going to go for a Trick Room right now. There we go. Go for a Shadow Ball. We don't see a Shadow Sneak, which is great. Shadow Ball should do a lot of damage as it does, which is great. Um, as they do actually have a berry, which is interesting, which is going to recover a lot of their health. Um, that was the citrus berry, right? Yes, so citrus berry. As there is the trick room. So we got some free damage off. Um, now we've got to kind of deal with this dust knoll, which is a kind of terrifying Pokemon to deal with. Um, what can we do here? They're probably going to go for a shadow punch, in which case I'm going to go into my Mighty Enna. There we go. We're going to go into Mighty Enna real quick. Um, Mighty Enna can definitely handle this dust knoll, I believe. I don't think it'll go for a will o wisp to be honest with you. Um, as they do go for a Shadow Punch, Shadow Punch, Ice Punch, probably Earthquake, and Trick Room. They are probably an offensive one. So I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch right now. Try and get the KO, which would be great. There we go. They're going to actually go for a Memento. So obviously the Sucker Punch fails, which is unfortunate. And that's going to lower our attack and our special attacks uh, harshly, which is a real shame. But we do take out the Dust Gnar in the meantime. Um, thanks to the Memento obviously being a uh, self-KO move. Now they're going to go into their Earth Ring. Earth Ring is a bit of a threat, to be honest with you. Um, we don't really have too much for Earth Ring. Um, but when it comes to a switching, I mean. Thinking that Krikatune will be useful later for the Latias, because we can obviously go for a Choice Scarf attack. I'm going to go ahead and sack off Tropius. I think Tropius is a good Pokemon to sack off. It's definitely not as useful as Krikatune is when it's frozen like it is. So we're going to our Tropius real quick, and uh, we'll see what they're going to do. They're going to go straight for a Facade, which is, of course, going to destroy us. Absolutely destroys us. So Tropius goes down, which is unfortunate, um, as the Burn is going to come into a play and take it down to half health. So we are pretty good right now. We can go into our Mighty Enna real quick. Um, Mighty Enna should be able to finish this thing off with a Sucker Punch, which would be great. Um, we could also go into our Golem, which would be also great. Um... Thinking Golem's the good one. Golem's definitely a good one because Golem has Sturdy, so we can definitely live a hit from this thing. Um, we're going to go for a Stealth Rock. Stealth Rocks are going to be pretty useful, I think. No, 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 no. Not this late in the game. Let's go for an Earthquake. We'll go for an Earthquake. Golem is going to put in some work right now. Just you watch. We're going to go for an Earthquake, take out this Ursa Ring, and then hopefully, thanks to our Custard Berry, we should be able to get another KO later on down the line. They are going to go straight for a Hammer Arm, which is going to take us right down to Custard Berry range, which is great for us. Absolutely great, as we're going to be able to take this thing out with an Earthquake. So down goes the Ursa Ring, which is perfect. Um, now whatever Pokemon they bring in, either Tauros, Latias, or the Rhyperia, we're going to be able to get some damage off, um, thanks to the Custard Berry. In comes the Latias. So Latias is coming in thinking, hey, we can pick off this Golem, no problems whatsoever. I'm going to go for the Explosion. We are Custard Berry. We should be able to get this off, which would be absolutely perfect. There we go, Custard Berry is going to come through as we get off the explosion, which is going to do a lot of damage to this Latias. It might even take it out, depending on what kind of Latias it is, to be honest with you. Um, I'm expecting a KO right now. We barely missed the KO, which is really unfortunate. Absolutely, really unfortunate right there, as they are able to go for a defog, but it fails because there is no target. I bet you didn't know that, did you? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our Cricket Tune, which is going to be great. Um, Krikatune is going to come through right now. We're going to completely scare out this Latias because we are going to go for a Bug Bite right now. There we go. We're going to go for a Bug Bite. Take out the Latias. Bet you never saw that coming with the Krikatune as the Latias is going to go down. Now we have the final two Pokemon which are going to be really threatening for us. So, um, what the diddly? Oh, we ate their berry. Oh, they had a berry and we ate it because of Bug Bite. I didn't even, I forgot that was even a mechanic. There's the Rhyperia. So, Rhyperia comes in. Um, looking absolutely cool and fine and stuff. It's definitely going to take out the, the Krikatune right now. That's that's for sure. Now, what do we have for this thing? So, we have Focus Blast. We have Ice Fang on the Mighty Enna. Ah, we're we're going to be relying on a lot of different factors right now. So, we're going to go for a Bug Bite again just to get some damage off on the Rhyperia. 
I don't see any reason not to. Uh, Zad did some decent damage, to be fair. So they go for a smackdown, which is, of course, going to take us out. Um, we are going to have to rely heavily on Alakazam hitting Focus Blasts. So, with that in mind, let's go into Alakazam and try and Focus Blast this thing. Because Focus Blast should KO a Rhyperior from this range. Definitely should KO from right this range. I'm just regretting not having Energy Ball on here. Energy Ball would have been so useful, you know? Energy Ball would have been really useful. Ah. Oh, okay. Don't miss the Focus Blast. Say it with me. Don't miss the Focus Blast. Don't miss the Focus Blast. Come on. We missed the Focus Blast. Of course we did. And Earthquake is going to take Alakazam out. So, unfortunately, I decided to put Focus Blast on instead of Energy Ball. Which is bit us, bit us in the ass, to be honest with you. Um, but what can you do? What can you do? What, what really can you do in this situation? So Rhyperia is unfortunately going to come put us a complete stop to our um, endeavor right now. Um, as we're going to go into our Mighty Enna. And the only way we can win this now is if we flinch with Ice Fang multiple times. Which I don't think we're going to do. There's the Ice Fang first one. Doesn't do nearly enough damage. Um, doesn't freeze, which is really frustrating. I'm not really. I'm... <laughs> I never expected it to freeze, as Earthquake is going to take out Matiena, and that's going to be the game. So, unfortunately, we didn't get the W with this team. We did get screwed over with a Focus Miss, but I, at the same time, I should have put Energy Ball on it, because what's Focus Blast really hitting? Dazzling Gleam hits the Dark types. Um, it's just Steel types, really. But we've got Shadow Ball, which kind of works out for that. So, I, I think what I might do is I might change Focus Blast for Energy Ball. That's what I've learned from this game. So, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.